Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check a new flight controller from Hacker C, the Omnibus F4 V3 flight controller. Inside this small package we get in an XT60 connector. This is pretty good because they already done the sold work for you so all you need to do is just to connect it to the flight controller and this is a very high quality XT60 connector. In addition we get in this 35 volt 470 microfarad capacitor a bag with R-shaped pin headers, a 4-pin connector, and finally the flight controller. The flight controller itself features Betaflight OSD, a feature that has become pretty standard these days. In addition, it has an external IMU, it's soft-mounted, and you can choose through the CLI if you want to use the internal IMU or the external one. It comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.3.0, and it's running Omnibus F4SD firmware. Now you might notice that this flight controller looks a little bit different than your standard flight controller. For example, I've got here also another flight controller from Hacker C, and you can see that on the bottom of this flight controller, we can find the traditional bit of flight layout. So over here we can find signal one, two, three, four, and next to each pad, we can find the ESC minus and plus pads. On this flight controller, however, it's a little bit different. First of all, you can see that the pads are located on the top. So over here we have signal one, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and also on signal 4, 6, 3, and 5, we get in plus 5 volts and ground next to it because it's intended to be used with servos. So this flight controller is more intended to be used with flying wings. They also give you one pad to connect the ESC controller. So you can see on the bottom we have the minus and plus pads for the ESC controller because normally on wings you use only one motor, so you only need one ESC controller. But it still gives us the option to use it with a quadcopter. You can see that we have this 10 pin female connector on the bottom and also this connector that enables you to connect directly also to a 4 in 1 ESC controller. Another port that makes this flight controller iNav and wing friendly is this port on the right side that enables it to connect it directly to a GPS. So these features that I just mentioned make it wing friendly, but besides that it features all the standard pads. So on the front we can find the pads for the VTX and for the camera. The left pad is the ground, then plus 5 volt, camera video in, then TX6, it supports both smart audio and tram protocol, and it's great that it's located next to the VTX because it will enable you to control it, of course, if your VTX supports this feature. Next, we've got the VTX video out, battery plus, plus five volt and ground, so they give you both options to connect the VTX either to the plus five volt or to the battery plus. On the bottom right side, we can find the connector for the LED and for the buzzer. The left pin is the ground, then plus five volt, LED and buzzer plus. And on the left side, the connector for your receiver. The left pin is the ground, then either plus five volts or three volts. You can see that we have these pads over here. If you bridge the left one with the center, it's going to output three volts. And if you're going to bridge the center one with the right one, it's going to output five volts. So make sure to solder the correct pads before connecting the receiver. Then we have the S-Bus pin and on the right side the smart port pin. By the way this flight controller also supports iBus. If you want to change between the S-Bus which comes as a default option to the iBus just this solder these two pads over here and you will have to bridge the iBus with the center pad. Finally on the left side we can find the boot button which looks pretty solid, the micro USB connector and on the bottom we can find the battery pads it supports between 2 to 4S LiPo batteries. We've got the ESC pads which I've mentioned before, these connectors for the 4-in-1 ESC controller, and also a micro SD slot for the black box. In terms of dimensions, this flight controller weighs 7.57 grams. Its thickness is about 11 millimeters. It uses the standard 30.5 by 30.5 mounting holes, and its outer dimensions are 34.9 by 36.2 millimeters. So overall, if you're debating which flight controller to get for your next FAB wing, you should definitely keep the Hacker C F4 V3 flight controller in mind. By the way, you're only getting one 4-pin connector, so make sure that you have spare ones. I think that Hacker C should include actually two of them because they have two of these connectors. So it's not a big issue, but I think it could make our life easier because probably you're going to use the buzzer port and of course you're going to use this connector for your receiver so including two of them could have been great. As always I thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful if you have any questions feel free to ask it in the comment section down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos
and goodbye.